What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Um, it's your boy, his will, and I'm back with another peace and mohair grease podcast. So welcome, welcome everybody. So today we are going to be discussing Superman and Lois Lane. Of course, they reversed the title and everything. So the premiere, it just premiered about what? A couple of days ago. This week, actually, what? Yesterday. So I believe yesterday is when it came on. So, and you know, when they usually do these uh, Superman reenactments or starting reboots, stuff like that, you know, they always got to go to the origin stories and stuff. So, um, now there will be spoilers in here. So before we, get, before we move into that, um, cause I'm going to be discussing. So if you haven't seen it, uh, watch it first and then come back and then make sure you like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff and make sure that you, uh, you know, whatever platform that you're listening on, you know, subscribe, you guys. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, also, you can go to my website at www.hiswillofficial.com. Um, and there you can shop with merch and listen to the music and everything. So this is just another expansion of uh his will so let's get into it um so the premiere came on so the first part you know he was talking about how they make it the actors and all that kind of stuff i wanted to jump right into the pilot so i'm gonna tell you off the top i absolutely loved how they did this superman now they didn't spend a whole bunch of time uh going through the origin story we all know that he left the planet krypton came on back um you know landed in the cornfields and, and all that type they skipped they, they they highlighted it but kept it moving now here's the thing i like about it superman he is a family man now so him and his wife lois had twins twin boys now they made this series more of how can I say uh more of like almost like a drama type thing but it still has the action and effects or everything is is great great so it starts off you know it, it's going over you know when he came uh, as a baby and grew up and Smallville and all that kind of uh, stuff and then um you know he started working at the Daily Planet you know all the the, the normal stuff we know about but then it shows that he got married. Uh, so they got married. So fast forward to that. Now they're married. So during the day, he's, um, you know, doing what's doing his Superman stuff. But when he comes home, he's still dealing with uh, things the same way that everybody else normal is dealing with. So uh, that is the dynamic that has been added to Superman and Lois. It's not like the other ones. You know, there was Superboy back in the day in the 90s and he had uh, with Dean Cain and, um, you know, with the Lois and Lois and Clark and all that type of stuff and various ones. And I loved all of the stuff. I really liked the Superboy back in the day. But anyway, um, so he's dealing with these issues. So what, so what happens is, um, you know, his father had passed um earthly father had passed and so they moved to metropolis you know had the kids kids going to school one of their sons is a star football star football player at this high school and his other son is he has issues like some anger some type of uh he has what they say um like severe anxiety social anxiety or something like that and so I guess they try to make it as like he's the black sheep of the of the twins because if you see you got this blue eyed, blonde hair, um star star boy type. Um he's the star of the family, you know, one twin, he's doing all this, the popular one, and then he's the more recluse, angry, um, got the long, you know, the long black curly hair. Uh so I see what they did there. Now, there was an incident that took place. Now, they were showing how the twins grew up when they were babies. And, uh, like, the son was throwing the football, threw it all uh, hard and knocked the 
um, tire, uh, it, the, you know, how they throw the football through the tire. The tire was hanging on the uh, tree branch, and he threw it, hit the hit the rope, it snapped, and all in half. They throwing it fast. I'm like, oh, but they got maybe they have, they have some powers. So, anywho, um, so they're dealing with he's dealing with raising teenagers and being at home and trying to make sure he's checking on the sons. But at the same time, he has to, uh, be gone cause he's Superman. Now, you know, his kids still have the same issues as any other teen, you know, girls and they have, you know, popularities, you know, those type of things that they're dealing with. So, um, they, his mom had a stroke and she ends up passing away. And so, he shoots over there to to the house and sees her um, you know in the midst of him on the way over there his mom whispered something saying hey come home and so he didn't understand what that meant because you know he has the super hearing and all that stuff so he went over there doing that um, to and did that and then so now they find out some stuff with the farm um, that his mom had a reverse mortgage on it, so they were going to sell and have to figure out unless they want to take over the loan, blah blah blah. But they end up wanting to stay there, so um, so they was at the farm, and at what happened, the kids were getting curious. Like, yeah, dad says don't never go into the shed because there's stuff in there that can kill you, blah blah blah. So basically scared and said, no, let's be live on the live on the uh, outside. So it's the twins and then they have this childhood um or just there's this girl with uh, the family which is the realtors uh, the wife works at the realtor the bank or whatever they have um all girls so one of the girls in particular likes or it, you know, gives you the illusion that she likes um, the t- one of the twins, which is the recluse one. You know, so they go in there because they're trying to figure out what's wrong with the Wi-Fi. So they go in there, it's like, what's the Wi-Fi router way up there for? What are they doing? So the one that's the recluse, he gets up and he um, and pardon me for not you know knowing their names. I, you know, it's so new, so I'm still trying to you know get that. So um, he climbs up there. Um, and he's reaching out like, yeah, something about to happen. So he, there's these metal pipes, these big metal pipes and he steps on it and then he taps the, uh, router, router pops back on. I got it. Loses his footing. The pipes fall. I mean, he loses his footing. He fall, he falls, pipes fall down and then his, he falls down and then his twin brother, the football star runs and jumps on top of him and the, and the thing falls down and then the girl runs out. Oh my God, something happened. So Clark runs in there and Lois runs in there and Clark run in there and throws the bar off so fast, the big tube off real fast. And he sees the boys under there. Neither one of them are hurt. And so they're like, Oh, okay. Maybe they got lucky and, but they won't, they can't shake the feeling that something's going on that, you know, that's something they were hurt or something like that. So what happened was, um, they start asking questions and they're like, well, you know, maybe you got lucky, blah, blah, blah. And this is like, no, nah, something else is going on. And then the way they do it, you know, you think that, you know, the football star is like, oh, there goes his basketball thing. He was like, hey, I mean, there goes his football. You know, he just got a starting quarterback role. And he's like, oh, there go. And I'm just thinking to myself, there go his football stuff. He didn't, pipes fell on him. But I'm thinking, hey, he got powers. So what happens is they start asking more and more questions. So Clark ends up telling them, hey, I'm Superman. Yeah, I lied to you. I'm sorry, but this is what happened. He tells him the orange origin story, and he was like, "What? You mean you Superman? Superman? Some, some, some?" They didn't believe him, so he took his glasses off, which I never understood. Like we don't know who he is with some clear glasses on, but he took his glasses off, lifted up the truck, put the truck under him. I mean, he picked it up, to, picked up the truck, and flew in the, and hovered in the air to show him that this is who I am. And so the the twins got all mad and 
It was like, um, well, maybe, you know, he's like, uh, well, maybe, you know, some, some powers, if you have powers, they may, you know, may just be dormant right now. So he's like, yeah, he gets everything, of course. Don't even try it, Dad. He's the star. He gets everything. Of course, he gets powers, too. So he's mad. So he runs off, and then the other son, just leave us alone. So this is the dynamics he's dealing with in the house. And so just like any other teen and stuff, but this is a little bit different. You know, it's like I'm mixed with whatever dad is, and I'm half this, a half alien, blah, blah, blah. What's going on? All this all this type of stuff. So it's like, man, why y'all tripping? Your dad is Superman. Stop tripping. You know what I'm saying? So um, they get through that. So then what happens is, so they, you know, they're mad. So they said they earlier in the day or earlier that week, that time when they were had failed and stuff, when he failed and all that kind of stuff. What happened was the girl came, put the phone number. She was like, no, I want your phone, not the popular brother, but the other one, you know, the one that takes meds and stuff. So she gave him the phone number then they went in, blah, 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 did that. So now you have they go to a little bonfire. You know, it's really nothing to do in small, small villes, small town. Everybody know each other, blah, blah, blah. So they're down there chilling. And then, um, the one that was taking his meds and stuff, um, it was, he was trying to drink a big old cup of beer or something. She was like, nah, I don't think you should do that. So you take the pills, blah, blah, blah. And it's just good to know somebody. I guess she's dealing with issues too. So they kind of bond there. Um, now, there was oh yeah before that um the dad was superman was trying to go in there and talk with the you know clark was trying to go in there and talk with the old with the one of the twins the one that has the issues he was playing it's funny uh what's that game that they play online um i with the superman and batman characters and stuff like that uh and mortal Kombat characters and stuff uh injustice i believe that's what it was and he was he was raiding against Superman, so he was like, oh, Superman's here strong. He, and he was like, Superman's boring. I'm raiding. I, and then I was like, oh. So that was a little shade to his dad. But at the time, he didn't know that his dad was Superman, but he still said, oh, Superman's boring. So back back to the bonfire. So he's sitting down there with the girl, the twin that has the, you know, the issues. He's sitting down there with the girl, and so he leans in to kiss her, kisses her, and she's like, what are you doing? All of a sudden, her boyfriend runs up. Now, the funny thing is, he was like, boyfriend? I'm sorry, I didn't know that it was your... I didn't know um, that that was your boyfriend. I didn't know she had a boyfriend. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I meant to tell I'm sorry. And so the boyfriend, he comes in there, fires on. Fires on homeboy. And his brother, the twin brother, comes in there and pushes him now when he pushes he pushes him dang near across the yard i'm like "Uh uh-oh they didn't mess with the one he got the powers he ends up getting fired on too and jumped and they stomping him out blood everything and so the twin had the issue he's laying on the ground he's looking up he's looking at him he's like he's seeing his brother getting beat up and it's in slow motion he's looking he gets mad and his eyes light up red shoots lasers out Boom, blows up the bonfire. Blows up. All them people, nobody was hurt, but everybody kind of blew all out the way. And the fireman's like, man, second time this week, you, your family is lucky. Nobody got hurt. And so it's revealed he has Superman's powers and not the stars. So the other twin took it well. He was like, well, hey, this just confirms that my skills on the field are mine. I really am skilled like that. And so... Then they flash back to when the thing fell, when the when the pipes fell. So they show him fall. They fall. His brother jumps under there, and then it shows him grab his brother and turn and roll over him. So they fall on him, and he he actually protects his brother. Um, that they didn't show that when they first did it, and uh, he scanned and it, and they got him, and uh, it turns out he was the one that saved him. And so he has the powers, so they were sitting in the kitchen talking and things like that, and then, you know, he's kind of uh, coping with it. 
he's he's real laid back and just not impressed at all. He's just kind of like, ah, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, it is what it is. And so it's revealed. So it's going to be that's going to be interesting. Um, and then just to round it out. Um, meanwhile, Superman had to go and there's a, a nuclear plant. Uh, somebody had cut a rift in one of these silos, which, you know, caused it to overheat coils and stuff. Wasn't heating up right. So Superman had to go. He was like, gotta do be something more than his breath. Can't use that super breath. You gotta do something more than that. So he flies into the, uh, ocean and uses his breath on the water, makes this giant ice a uh, bird picks it up, flies over there, and le- lowers it down in there as he's flying down, holding it, and letting the water just melt and drip over it. Cools it down. He uses his eye lasers to seal the the heat, and then so they're like, "Man, I wonder what could have caused that." So there's this guy, um, and it's inside this kind of space suit, and I f- believe it's made of lead. So. You know, x-rays, Superman, he can't see through lead. So, he's like, oh, this is the guy that's been doing that. And this guy is like, you know, fast. So, Superman's like, what is... He's in the room, he's looking, he's like, where are you at? The guy's talking. And then the shows... And the sequence, the action sequences are so dope in this show, man. They really did a good job all around. Um, And I'll give you my final opinion after I explain this thing. Um... So they go and Superman flies through the wall. He sees him and he flies through the wall like a slow motion and shows him breaking through the wall and it break. Oh, so it's amazing how they do the special effects. And then he flies over to the dude and the dude is like, just, just reaches his hand out and stops him dead in the air. Like, Oh, I thought you was faster than that. Throws him back through the walls across all outside or something and proceeds to fly. They flying around the world, um, chasing each other. And the, the cat in the suit is, is just, is mashing. And what it reminded me of is if you watch the flash, um, when he was fighting Godspeed, Godspeed, the silver cat was so fast. He drug the flash through a time continuum and then broke his back. That's how fast the uh, Godspeed cat was on the Flash. And I love the comic book stuff. And, you know, I haven't, didn't really read a lot of that. So I leave it to my comic book heads. You guys can chime in on that. I love to love to learn more and more stuff. But I, I'm a fan. I always have been. Superman is my favorite. So, anywho, so while they were flying around the world and stuff, he, um, that's when all that stuff was taking place at the bonfire. So what happens is Superman... Um, so they fighting in space and getting knocked through buildings and all this type of stuff. They all in China and stuff like that. So they fly up to space and then all of a sudden he pops up behind him and, um, in space. He said, yeah, so this is you. Some, some, he takes some kryptonite, stabs Superman in the chest, breaks it off. And Superman just starts free falling from space down to earth. Meanwhile, on the news, the bonfire pops up and Lois has, they have this little communicator that she pushes that's an alert to say, Clark, where are you? So Superman, like a call. Um, he's fallen. And, uh, you know, once he gets this kryptonite in there, he's like human. He bleeds. Um, one of the famous lines from Superman versus Batman, he's like, he talks about how uh, you bleed, Superman bleeds, blah, blah, blah. Didn't remember the line right off, but that's what it reminds me of. So what happens is he's falling, he's falling, and then he starts flashback and thinking about his uh, mom, Earth mom that passed away and thinking about his family and all this stuff. So he gains some strength. He pulls the kryptonite out, throws it down, and right before he used to ground, he turns, boom, starts floating right as... Look, he was over in China and a car was coming. He stops. The car stops right as Superman stops right in front of the car and he's floating and hovering and he waves at him. How you doing? <laughs> flies off, you know, in that super speed and flies over there to where the bonfire was. Flies behind the car, changes it to his clothes real quick. Hey, what happened? Dad, blah, blah, blah. 
And so then that's when they discuss the thing and it ends on that. And then, so they follow the space dude to the ship and he goes and then he takes the um, helmet off and it reveals who it is, but I'm not going to tell you that. You guys got to watch that. If you've watched it, you know who it is, but I'm not going to give that away. Um, you can probably guess, but I didn't know. And I was like, oh, yeah. So check it out. Now, my opinion, as we round up here, um, I give this ooh, definitely a strong eight. 8.5 out of 10 only because I want to see more action but I know it's the pilot so they got to kind of give you both dynamics um, but I love the way they do the show and that's because um, they add in that human element that kind of humanizes uh, Superman we've seen all the other stories and the reboots and stuff it's always the same stuff I like the way they, they did that and now he's actually it's almost like a drama as well because he's getting um, even one of the actors, one of the twins that plays the actors, he said uh, that plays the, one of the twins. He says uh, it reminds him of Smallville because because of the simple fact that he's, um, I guess, the whole dynamic of like a family and stuff like that. And Smallville, you know how that was. And then it also brings to mind. I didn't watch it, but the show that had Jada Pinkett Smith on there, um, it was the the Batman one, but it was like, what was it called? Like, uh, Gotham, Gotham, the show Gotham. It kind of, you know, humanizes, normalizes things like that. So, but anyway, it's, um, excellent show. I just want to see some more action, which you got to give it time. So I'm sure my rating will probably go up and so far it's so good. Even my wife, she was, she enjoyed it. Um, and I really, really love the show. This is going to be great. It's something different. Um, I haven't seen it the way they normalize it. It's not cheesy. Um, at least the first episode wasn't the, the, um, everything is great. Um, the way they did it, uh, is really good. I really, um, shout out to the producers. Um, they really did a great job at, um, doing this show. Um, so I look forward to seeing this and watching it as they is, this is the Arrowverse. So, um, you know, just like to have the multiverse, there are going to be different stuff going on. This is Arrowverse. So it's going to all be intertwined with the flash and, um, dang, I always forget the other show, you know, Arrow, the flash, of course, Superman, probably Supergirl, Batgirl or Batwoman, um, and uh, I forget the other one, but they be flying around in space. It just slips my mind. And it has the other Superman in there from uh, another Earth. But anywho, that. And so I'm looking forward to that, um, seeing more of that. So you guys check that out. And um, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. And so, uh, again, if you guys would like to be on the show, if you want to discuss something, music, music, uh, I mean, music, movies, uh, shows, whatever, hit me up at info at his will official dot com or you can go shoot me a dm um an ig at his will official um let me know you can leave a comment or what what you want to do and we can we'll get you on the show get you on the show here and we'll have some good time and discuss it and just enjoy it uh, i love to meet and some talk to some of y'all so um now like i always say y'all it's peace and more hair grease you dig Ooh wee and I'm out like a sprout, no doubt.